Never gonna die! Halo event on UK or European soil, and here we are now back in London, and two of the biggest teams in the world going up against one another. Undoubtedly, many fans in the room seeing Optic and or Faze. Here we go. Lock in. Lock in, brothers. Let's go. Of watching these two go up against each other across multiple titles, and game number one between these two will be CTF Forbidden. It's Optic versus Faze. Optic so versus Faze. Is this winner's semis? About coming into this event. Maybe a little bit under hype for what this team the first achieve. matchup so of Optic and Faze that we have seen that we're talking about. On the other since side of the Arlington. Stage, the team who it's Optic double 3 0 them. At the first major of the year. This is the two teams who are steeped in history. They don't want to lose to the other. They want to come out victors. And we're going to start off with a man who people know better than most. It's, of course, your man Formal. That's right. Make some Winners. And we are semis. With El Clasico. It's Optic Gaming versus FaZe Clan. Let's not H4F, man. In Arlington, FaZe Clan Let's lock it in, chat. Just one team. They lost to Optic Gaming twice. Both of those were 3 to 0. This is their chance at redemption. 3 to 0 in scoreline, but extremely close game. Each it's good damage though. One of them, but off the rip here, a Burn set OS. Going over to the side of Whoa! Good evening, Frosty. What the hell? Game one. An unbelievable start I didn't even realize, and then he gets no scoped. On Forbidden CTF on the main stage. That's a crazy a start. For face plan. A great start, but you can see. I mean, they they were kind of just they were kind of just throwing himself at him. They were just trying to punch him to get the overshield off, but still. Yeah, I was gonna say that was a lot of punching. But, but still, an overkill is an overkill. Ooh, nice little work. Ooh. He manages to stay out as well. A very nice ledge there. And I was possible. Ooh. 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 the full Dipsy Doodle Renegade's grenade at the end. Takes him down. Renegade with that kill. It looks like he's trying to pressure the snipe side here of the Optic base. Two players for him to deal with. Has the sidekick if anyone tries to get too close and he can hit the old pop, pop, pop. Get those shields dropping. Royal 2 elsewhere. Managing to find a kill himself. But Renegade oh, yeah. is just trying to buy time. Just trying to allow the rest of FaZe Clan to do work on the other side of the map while he distracts the rest of Optic. Two across he could do. Only one shot left. Does not connect in the end. We'll have to opt for the bandit here. Like it's moving though. You can see the phase are kind of walking this one back. They've got it back to their heart now, and Snake Bite is trying to be a little bit sneaky with this one. Knows they need another kill, and Frosty, well, there's a Snake Bite. Ooh. He's waiting for his opportunity to strike behind the respawn is coming in from Alti. Maybe a tough 1v2, potentially 1v3, in just a second he does get taken down. Really good job by Optic to make sure they don't forfeit any kills there in the end. However, it will be a 3 for 2 trade for just a moment. Overshield coming up as well. Formal is on it. Royal 2 is trying to win the fight, but Formal. We'll take it he does die. Is still down, there, goes. The meantime, there goes the cap for FaZe. And FaZe, who we questioned about their ability to be consistent in making the right decisions when running that flag back, especially after what we saw in Arlington. They Overshield's going to be right burned. This time. And they get the Overshield as well. You talked there, Mark, about how Snakebite was delaying the run. He's going to hold it there. They're going to wait to see the battle stop mid in the end. They get the Overshield and the flag as well. FaZe Clan will lead 1-0. to zero. So Optic on the back foot. In our game number one, a little bit of step jump coming in from Lucid. That's Frosty. Uh, challenges. And it will cost him his life this time. FaZe find There's a nice sequence out of Tommy Lucid right, right there. The mid control. FaZe looking so good off the arc. is a little also framey also right now. Overkill to start things. How fitting that he's also 7-3 and three this early on. It's not me, that's like the broadcast. opportunity to get to an early listening with FaZe Clan. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Holy fuck! Nice job. really quiet. Yo, chat, is the volume good or do you need me to turn it up a little bit more? 
Volume's good. Okay. We'll opt to get that over shield. Oh! Have an opportunity to push forward onto the face base and get that flag moving. It's gonna be two dead momentarily. Frosty just lost spawn. He's trying to get the damage onto the flag to stop this run, but Optic have got this one moving. Tries to get through as well. Tries to go main ramp. Not gonna be easy. That was kind of a burger slide. Needed, but no cleanups here. The crowd already loves to see this run coming in for Optic, and that flag has crossed the mid map. Lucid wins the 1v1. I'm well. lucid, bro. Renegade. That means phase are gonna be two down, and that flag is gonna be moving home. This should be the be a 1-1 game. It's one to yep. One. And Optic are back into this game. And it feels like this room's a little bit louder for the Optic side. And as we said, many, many Optic uh, fans team kill. across that the sucks. here in the UK. Excited to see these guys on the main stage. We are all tied up at one flag apiece with 644 left on the clock. Lucid's hunting as well. He wants Royal 2 to add to his collection. He, he almost got team killed too. As well. Everybody just nading. So Lucid having a pretty good start to this game. Think by 1 and 8 start. 5 at this point in the game. As the flag is now once again moving from the phase base. This map also blends hard, to be fair, bro. Coming in from Lucid, they will need kills here, though. Let's not forget, it's eight up on the map right now, and this is going to be the phase push. This flag's going quick, though. Look how far Dead Zone already is. Might try to go. We'll see. Time Lucid's being such a pain in the ass for phase, dude. So much damage, bro. He's just living. Optic double caps. Wow, back to back caps coming in for them so well executed just moments ago. It was 1-0 in favor of Unbelievable. Really, really well done there by the Unbelievable from Optic. Good sequence for... Alright, hang on though. Snakebite gets two kills. Renegade gets an overshield. Royal 2 gets another one. They've got him trapped on the OE. This should be a flag grab. Or no, okay, that's a cap. They've already got that out. That's, that's going to be a cap. This is going to be a tie game. Here for FaZe. He's going to be trapped though, and he might be baited in. He's trying to play his life, trying to do so much, and by doing so, has allowed the space for nope. FaZe to tie they didn't, they didn't show it at all until the picture-in-picture, picture, but they got that flag out fast as hell. With that control that allowed them both the overshield and the flag. They seem to be playing so well around the both of them together. And look at the pressure. They still are inside of the... Yeah, FaZe has presence in Optic's base, bro. If FaZe gets a kill or two, this is going to be disastrous for Optic. He runs right by Trippy. That is such an important... And Trippy gets him gets him one shot, bro. Trippy gets Renegade and then deals so much damage, bro. And Optic's gonna be able to get the kills to get out of their base. Massive sequence right there. That was so dangerous for Optic. Yeah, those are the small margins we're talking about, right? When we have these two teams on our main stage, every single decision, every fight has a consequence. Oh my god. Lucid who picks up the beat down, no trade again, and by keeping himself alive once more, now has the snipe to play with to try and find some heads. Oh, did he not see him? Members. Man, just, oh, just about three minutes ago, even less than that, maybe two and a half minutes ago, it was a one to zero game in favor of FaZe. FaZe gets two. Things have been amped and FaZe gets three. Here. Now two to two, next flag will win. Pressure. Here comes the pressure. This is game. Lucid this is going to be game. Why? Because everybody else has fallen. Here and Snakebite has that flag moving. Lucid's still in the death screen. Everybody else from Optic. They just went four dead at the worst well, possible time. Bro, I don't think they can get anywhere close. Wait, Opti gets two kills. Formal is on the flag, bro. They just oh, we'd fast as shit. I thought it was over, bro. That is a huge kill from Snakebite. The rest of Opti goes top middle. Oh! Both flags are out. It's nonsense on my screen. Wait, the phase flag gets returned. That's gonna be game. It's gonna be game. Holy shit. Holy shit. What a game one. What a game one, bro. In the room here in London, they thought that Snakebite had fumbled the flag on the way up the back rat ramp. That was not the case. He knew the flag was being pulled, and had he not taken the immediate angle from the flag stand to stop the Bro, and Smooth Criminal, it's such an underrated quality, dude. In this series here, if you're just joining us, welcome. It's El Clasico Optic versus FaZe, a story as old as time now taking place here in London, England, and now face up one to zero and a down to the wire three to two CTF forbidden win. We now go, Let's go. number two Slayer on streets. Keep your eyes on who controls that red gun because it is so deadly in the hands of these players. It's so good for just locking down 
what Great makes Slayer. the map and getting you that opening pick in a 4v4. If you can lock that down early, then you have a pretty good opportunity of being able to double up and go for that camo of the respawn as well. But game number two is live here. Faze find themselves up by one. Optic. Lock in, brothers. They do. They need to answer back. Renegade they gets a stick. This is Faze's to first open the game. Down Optic on land this year in Interesting. Game. As we said earlier, 3 to 0 in both series in Arlington. Face Clan dropping to Optic. However, oh, it's holy melt. A different story so far. They've taken game number one. Start for Optic. Full face. Lucid trying to put damage down onto the respawners who are going to be in and around the tram area. And with that camo coming up as well, being stuck on respawn, not the best of places to be. Renegade opening a little bit of space though, and Frosty going to be challenging onto Lucid as well. He wants that kill, he wants that bulldog, and he wants to lock down that It's camo an unfortunate death. And just like that, Tide 4 4 camo now up. We'll see what they can do. Minor man advantage for just a second. They will also get the next pick as well. Now two dead. It was a momentary three dead. Should be a camel grab here for FaZe. Yeah, really good control of the map there for FaZe. It's four dead for Optic. Oh, wow. no. Frosty's screaming at them. Camo off the back of it as well. But the way that they swarm, they pushed ahead of Snakebite, allowed him to pick up that camo uncontested. So fantastic. See how he walks Faze. around and not break the glass? Snakebite's life so easy. That's my goat. Really impressed once again. This is not the first time we've seen it. We saw it all game. They also get four dead at the exact timing of the camo pop. And it just feels like FaZe is doing so well with game power up and weapon management and now info management as well. Optic, Optic hiding to try to negate the camo. The get some time off the clock and make They're not make careful the though. They just trap themselves exactly and make themselves an easy collapse. Formal gets Frosty out and gets a trade. And manages to get a trade, but with everybody else, you can see just stuck together at the moment from Optic. It's about timing this push for FaZe. We should get another one. See, Snakebite going to try to get this finish on Formal. He should in the end. That will be two dead, but... Ooh! Ooh! Raid. Reversal perfect. See it on screen live. Another Optic does trade out pretty shots. effectively in that situation, now, though. To to Optic should have gone four dead clean, and they managed to get two or three camo. kills out of that so situation. So. Popped, and able to grab Optic, the Optic the keeps it a close game, and Optic gets away with camo. That's actually really, that's actually really good from Optic. All things considered, because that was a great sequence from Phase. World two, eagle eye. That's that's ridiculous. Lucid is just getting dinged from distance, not too happy about and that. And now FaZe is going to make the exact same play Optic just did, try to negate the camo. They're going to turtle. Lucid gets one, Renegade trades. Row 2 falls, Frosty last guy. He's going to try to make it difficult on them. Beautiful kill by Lucid. Had to throw the nade, it was a little weird. Eventually just wins it with a nade and a bulldog as well. The green wall champ begins as they brought this Renegade trying to rat. That's going to be a trade. Optic now it's a tie game. Check him SSD, bro. Phenomenal sequence from Optic to regain the lead and regain control in this game. Who's eagle eyeing him from half the map away? That was Royal 2. Royal 2 is sitting back green. Guys, listen, listen. You guys should double up. Have two guys, one, one shot, one shot pillars. Look dead in, look dead in, look dead in. Yeah, they're trying to push, they're trying to push. What's our kid with soccer right now? Okay, there, our kid's weak, our kid's weak. And the guy cuts. Could be push, right? could be, could be, not pillars, not pillars, yeah. Laundry, laundry, push it, push it, guys. One shot, blue gen, green gen, one shot, blue gen. Go dead. Cafe, cafe, two shot on me. On DMR's one. He's going green gen. Green gen. Sitting green, you're going blue gen now to tire. Is there a full shot? Two shot. One shot. One shot. Unfortunate team nade. There's two there. There's two there now, guys. Blue gen. One shot. Blue gen. One. Still blue gen. Still blue gen. Dying to shotty. I'm dying to shotty. Look at spikes. There's spikes, man. Spikes, man. Weak. Yeah, turn around. One shot. P street. One. Two shot. Two shot. There we go, guys. I'm watching. There. 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 One. One. One shot. Team. Can't see that guy. Green gen. Dead. You should die. You should die. Dead. Yo, drive That's another camo shotty for Optic. Drive week. Drive week. Drive they should know this though. Fortunate death from Formal. Holy shit. Damage is coming in from everywhere. Again, just completely negating the camo. Red room, NB weak, guys. NB one shot. NB one shot. 
Oh no. Optic's gonna die here. What's up? What's up? Watch this, watch this, watch this. Alba comes back into the game, and I've got to say, how well did FaZe... You know, who's left? Uh, Optic, oh, SSG, FaZe, oh, Sentinels... All of the kills um, Yusuf, had that camo. By the time that the camo ran out, he was left on his own. I couldn't agree more. It's been amazing to watch... Quadrant... The and then the counter play from and the one other team, I think, two. right? You don't always get to see There's eight teams left? Counter play, but at this level, you will see really intentional counters... Shopify, thank you. Sides, and as a result, we are still just... And, and I think that's all eight of them, right? 31 to 30. So Camo wasn't the difference maker. Can the Stalker Rifle provide the DPS, the damage output, to give Optic an opportunity to push? Trippy, he's going to be the man with the responsibility of hitting these Weird. shots. Lucy's going to try and poke and create an opening. A stick's going to come in elsewhere, which keeps the score. Yeah, the usual suspects. Two the two nice shots. Two picks up a double as Trippy hits the perfect. It's a one, Little one kill game. Moment. 1v1 for just a moment, as you say, between Royal 2 and Trippy, the last two players alive. Trippy, though, with a big, big perfect kill, brings the game back within one. Camo's coming up. Trippy goes to tower to make sure that he can lane anyone if he's trying to get vision on it. On the phase side, Frosty having a little poke battle. Nobody really coming out on top of that one right now. Apart from, you could maybe argue, Frosty, because he's using that ammo up for the red gun. Double push here coming to see stairs. Trippy wisely backs down as the pressure was coming in, but camo grab could be happening soon. Formal's the first to fall in the 4v4. The last two cameras have gone the side of Optic Gaming. FaZe need to get one. If they want to have a little if I get another one. Rider closing this out, but at the moment, look Optic goes down by three and now they're turtling. Based on positioning, they Optic goes down by four and now they're trapped in PD. Sure Optic is going to go there down is. by several Same kills here. By using that camo as well. Stays alive as well. Six kill lead for FaZe now. Maybe that was a tough sequence for Optic push. ever since like that camo said, came up. The of that power yeah, really, once again, I'm seeing incredible stuff here from the entire face side. Royal One obviously included in that mix because they have just been on top of these power ups and perfect map control once again. The second you saw all these players in PD, you knew that FaZe had, had them all trapped C. Map control, but the power it's a good live. Oh! He's step jumping and shit. A killing spree is now Still does go down. To 35 in favor of FaZe. FaZe by 8. And 7, 13 and 8, unfortunately, as we read the stat line for Snakebite leading the way here for FaZe Clan. And now they find themselves within just 6 kills of going up by 2 in this series. Optic need to find not just 1 or 2 kills here. They need to cycle these spores. They need to control the next 30 seconds to a minute. And they certainly need to get this camo. Don't forget, it was just 34 to 32. This is a 10 to 4 run coming in. And guess what? Half of those kills, it goes without saying, from Snakebite after that killing spree. They now lead here by 8. And now you've seen Optic realize they have to value every death so much more. No more wiggle room for them to play with. Royal 2 with some good shots coming in from the window. Trippy's trying to at least push the pace a little bit here. Go down by seven. Member who is having those shields broken. He's getting away. Oh my god. Alive, oh my god. This guy's unguardable. Faze gets dead. another camo. Only two kills map. left. It should be over. This going to be picked up by Royal 2. Look at this play. Just going to probably look to trade here. He does trade 49 on the board. One to go for Faze. Frosty's going to get the final kill. And Faze find themselves two up in the series. And that is the phase that we're used to seeing yep. in Slayers. It was a beautiful game two out of phase. Pretty sure Renegade just said they're fucking Super. breaking. And what did everyone say? If there's one thing that's going to fire up phase, it is a disappointment like they had in Arlington. And I think everyone in the scene was ready for this team to come back to fly to London with a completely different game plan and a completely different outlook at this tournament. They win game two Slayer by 10 kills. And as you said, it is unbelievably disciplined. As we said, there's one thing this team, uh, we know about this team that they kind of hate more than anything would be losing. And the way that they lost, of course, they would have had a lot of time to think about two back-to-back 3-0 -back losses against the very team that they are sitting across from right now. However, as you can see, it's a different phase roster. They now lead 2-0. to zero. They're one game away from closing out the series. Well, here we go. Game number three then. One game left for FaZe to chalk up to call the series their own for Optic. It's the start of a very long road if they want to call this series their own. King of the Hill Live Fire is where we're going to find ourselves. And we're going to be focusing on who's going to hit them snipes. Yeah, that's the question. All right. Got to think. Optic also Lock in, brothers. Deep here. Green wall. Phase up 2-0. Getting some chance going coming into game number three, but going to be digging deep. They need to send this series the distance, but it's not going to be easy with the type of game and map management that we have seen from Phase. We're starting things off with Lucid. Well, here we go. Then. Game number three of the series in our winner's semifinal. Optic. 
very much on the back foot. And FaZe looking like the FaZe we talk about when they're playing some of their best Halo. Already inside of that hill is Snakebite. No surprise to see that as he wins his first individual fight. And FaZe with Whoa. control as well. Frosty with the Holy sniper. damage. This is almost the perfect start for them. It is. Let's see what they can do. They open up with a 3-1 lead. Oh, uh. my God. Hits the shot on dead zone before he can drop as well. Might even report another one. Those kills will be traded out. Three dead at the moment for Optic Gaming. That means it's an early lead. For a lot of early time for FaZe. But Optic formal, uses though, to for the camo. For a moment, does have the camo. Might be spotted out though. However, Renegade has no idea where he went. And no surprise, because he's a camo player. And it's difficult to spot those. Frosty. Still not aware of the exact position of Formal. Dead Zone's going to fly in front of him, and the sniper rifle and the camo now in the hands of Optic. They have now they break. The Formal's going to try to hold this side of the map. Even though FaZe have done the majority of the work, they haven't done it all yet. That's right, no room for error here. Optic would need to hold throughout this entire hill. They need to make sure they're focusing on slaying advantage. Also, while still being close to B and the hill, this is not going to be easy. We'll see if they could do it. Here's the hold. Look how obnoxious Frosty's being on the cuts there. Using those pillars, just shoulder peeking, jiggle peeking to try and make Formal use some of that ammo to make it as difficult as possible for him to hit the shots. But he doesn't need to hit too many right now because Frosty is last alive. The rest of Optic Gaming have taken care of FaZe. And look at that hill time. Look at that hill time. They've done it once. Can they do it again? Take a look at that bottom scoreboard. They might stop this first hill. Hang on, bro. A few more slays here for a few Last push seconds. for FaZe. Two shots left for Formal. Here it comes. going to peak. He's going to get away with it. But elsewhere, trade's coming in. Renegade flanking on the pillars, trying to break this hold. Formal trying to play his oh, right beautiful now, double back. No, he dies. Never mind. There's a push. Tommy Lucid by himself. That'll be it. That'll be it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They get him out. What the fuck? Oh, my God. But they die. And FaZe gets it. Holy shit. Wow. That was mixy as hell. I think is still set up on next. The optic doesn't end up capping that green hill, but they do maintain control of the next one. That was what optic was trying to do there. You saw formal really did not want to leave that tower side of the map because the the last thing that optic wanted to do was lose that first hill and then also lose a rotation to the second hill. The kills come in, it's Renegade and Snake Bite specifically. So they make a pretty good effort to fight for that first hill, but also they try not to lose control of this side. But just as I say that, they're going to go three dead. Last guy formal top tower. But somehow survives for a little bit longer. That's a clean break. And look at this tower control now from Snake Bite and the rest of FaZe. They have completely flipped not only a first hill in their, into their advantage. There are a lot of little mini games going on inside the... Uh, Inside the big game. Also, must be mentioned here, Optic is outslaying 21 to 17. Why Halo's cool? Still steals that hill out from under them. Look at that, Optic breaks right back. Also wonder, for the Optic side, as Luce is going to pick up a free kill here on Mud. You have to wonder. A moment like that, when you were just about to go up one to zero in the kind of clean breaks from both sides. To lose that hill again might just be a little bit of a tough blow to register. They're now out slaying by five, but they need to get the objective points on the board oh. here and make sure they tie this one up. Big oh. push coming in from FaZe on the cut side as well, and I was going to give a lot of credit actually to Optic. Even though they found themselves without control, they did manage to break the setup, and you can see they have a good amount of time once again on this second hill. But if we've learned anything from watching FaZe uh, here in London and over uh. the last amount of time, it's... No. You could be no. Close, but if you're not perfect, if yeah, you're I'm with Bravo. Don't do that shit. Then they still have a chance of winning those hills. Bodies tripping in the angles as well. They're gonna use some teamwork. Whoa, to hello. Tower. What the hell? Too dead for just a moment for Optic Renegade doing everything. Does he have extra shields or something? Like, push. what's good? Push. Holy push. piss, bro! And then he just gets melted by two guys. Snake bites on the flank as well. He'll take down Trippy in and around that hill. We're starting to get a little bit scrappy, a little bit dicey. Big two from PJ. This tower hill, a 2v2 momentarily, but FaZe use yet, lose left. And in five, Snake bite leading the lobby thus far in this game three. Ah! Killing spree. killing spree for Captain Clutch as Optic ties the game. 1-1. One, one. We'll tie it there. Snake bite wins a very nice battle in the back of the base, but he knew he wasn't able to stop that entire hill. So instead, wisely plays his life. However, most importantly, we are tied one to one. Optic gaming answers back. They oh. answer back and they've rotated so well towards the garage. Look, they have control of scoreboard. They're in a the small window. They have someone in and around that hill. And early hill time on this third hill is now going to the side of Optic. However, a couple of kills are going to help FaZe have a bit of space to play with now. Let's see what Snake Bite can do with the lone scoreboard again. Oh, oh. Almost gets another one. Not able to sneak that one out. Finally, he will be taken down now on board with Renegade here in the window. And Optic Gaming starting to get a little bit of form here. Once again, they're still outslaying, but more importantly for them, 
They've tied the game. They can breathe for just a moment. I was going to say one thing that Optic have done so well. The last two times you've seen the camo pick up come from the phase is they've traded it out immediately. I don't think the camo player has even registered one kill without response. It's been an immediate trade, which has made that camo almost useless on the map. So trading it out, absolutely fine if you don't have it yourself. We might somehow surviving in this hill. From it. Optic Gaming, though, they're going to want a little bit more in these next few moments because FaZe have taken three members down and Snakebite is back in that hill. He very narrowly stays alive there on that nade that was coming in. Just barely stays alive. And there's a scoreboard. Able to do so, though, and able to continue controlling. They also get the back A spawns. And now here comes the Optic push. Whoa. Coming in from Optic. You see the flying he just gets flooded. They get two kills. They clean out most of Garage. And now you're going to see the sniper rifle coming up top middle. And Optic already up on the map. Look at the position here from Dead Zone. He's trying to block those back tower spawns. He's going to try and force all of FaZe to spawn together at green. And if he can do exactly that, which it looks like he's done, and get away with the snipe, Actually beautiful. Optic is going to have the info they need. Oh, here comes a 1v1. Snakebite's going to take that. Just also. dies and gives snipe, snipe, though, unfortunately. Oh, oh PJ. PJ! He's going to register yet more kills. A triple kill for him. He's 15 and 7. Always playing for the win. Whatever, dude. Gets a triple kill and then drops snipe on the ground. Says, I don't want an overkill, bro. Let me sit in the hill. Oh, my God. Oh. All right, dude. Whatever. Good play. Dropping the snipe. Jesus, bro. Yeah. If he hit that, bro. Also, uh, Renegade for the hill. He got it. Oh, Royal 2 is there anyway. They, they would have gotten it. Faze goes up 2-1. Optic does have rotation in the next, and this is good initial time. Faze is still too dead, so Optic's actually going to get a lot of time before Faze is able to even spawn up and get across the map for this hill. Snakebite is 16 and 9 in this game. Ridiculous numbers coming in from Snakebite. Renegade as well, not too far behind. 16 Real and 2 is just going to play for this camo, like though. You said a couple of those came a few moments ago. You might have noticed them. Camo's going to be popping up as well, which is why you're seeing a lot of control. Renegade like gets one, on Frosty gets another, Snakebite gets the camo and then dies. Green here as we go towards the mud hill. He has that sniper rifle, three shots oh, no. still. Snakebite had not gotten the camo yet. He was still waiting on it. So now Dead Zone has the camo. Their objective efficiency, however, they have looked so good in this game. Renegade picks up another one, and the two teams are tied at 50 kills apiece. Exactly right now. Oh! Formal hits the shots, and he had to. Dead Zone comes through with a double kill himself, and Optic will break. But we've said that a few times now. With hey, camo snipe for Optic. Sniper rifle. This is the opportunity nice shot. for them to pick up that first kill and lock down the hill. See if they can do it. That's the big question. They narrowly go into a kill lead as well, and a significant lead here on this hill. They're going to look to tie it. Camo's out. Great DPS coming in this time from Dead Zone on the nest. Renegade managed to sneak up to the tower. Formal's trying to sniff him out, but Dead Zone's going to go on a killing spree himself. And someone needed to do this for Optic. Someone needed to take the game by the scruff of his neck. And maybe uh, as Optic tied things up. At Optic ties the game. Beautiful the sequence from Dead Zone. Big stuff there. 16 kills to his name. Also tied for the most assists with nine. As you said, it's really been a DPS story during that entire hill. We'll see now what Formal can do. We're tied up two to two. Optic gaming with their backs against the walls, of course. If they what settings do they one, use? They I can hardly see Cam in front of me. Doing I don't know, bro, but whatever they play on, it's not good enough for Sparty. For Stay by trying to pressure the hill. Optic are inside of it at the moment, but it's a 2v2. Frosty's trying to flank. But Frosty gets taken down by Lucid. So this is so much Sparty time for Optic. Life, Holy shit. No they are milking Optic so game. much time here. Bandit rifles in a one person challenge, and instead he's going to go for that flank. But Trippy, Trippy. Just read and he missed the mud jump. Almost fortunate the jump gets missed. Take a look and at the that's gonna oh. Optic gaming will have to close out that, this hill. Yep. What a turnaround this would be for Optic, right? If they can turn this game on his head. Trippy with the body. But not enough to take him down. Phase inside of the hill. And I said Wait, no bullshit. You just it's a hundred sharpness and you can see camo way easier. No bullshit. Count phase out at any point on the hill. Optic gets the hill. Three two optic. Optic have turned this game Here comes the rotation. Once again, finally, Optic has the outslate. Nice snow scope as well. Bodyguard metal comes in as he just brains the opponent right next to a friendly. Now going to go ahead and reverse Santa Claus for Frosty as he pops back up. And now, just like that, all the reverse Santa Claus. Hey, Bravo. Left. Optic leading by one I think hill. I love Bravo. Plays inside of that hill and locking it down, though. Look how much time they've already got on the board. They're halfway to tying this game up. 
at three to three. Yeah, and I mean, to a final hill. Camo's coming up as well in a few I mean, this is looking like they're already going to tie it. Plus, phase is going to have control of tower side. Plus, camo is up. This is looking like it might be a camo for them. Or dead for optic. Oh no, they do allow the tower spawn though. But he dies. That's going to force the rest of them out. Phase ties the game and they have tower side. This is going to be game, honestly. Does he not realize that he got by him cuts? Oh my god! Wait! Two massive kills for optic! What the fuck was that? Optic fighting for their lives. Phase looking to close it out here and now. Next he'll win. Simple as that. Couple of kills going the favor of Optic. How does FaZe troll that? FaZe has like the unbreakable. But just okay, but they break right back. As Optic now find themselves three dead. Tower control. What is going on? FaZe is if there's one player you want from FaZe on this tower, probably the man on your screen. This could be devastating. As you said, it was three dead. Now this is gonna be quite a run here for FaZe. Optic oh boy, Optic has to get a very good push coming up. However, formal is the first to fall. Trippy's gonna die. This could be even more time on the board. You do for phase. Phase has to get time. That's too dead for optic. Phase will continue scoring. Optic have proven though in this game that they can break this tower setup. But time is a factor. Game Big kill from dead zone. And knowing that there's only Big kill from Lucid. Right Bro, two has to hold. One minute left on the game clock. Phase find themselves over halfway to capping this hill, but here comes oh. Oh. Oh! Those kills will be traded out. However, it does end up with World Two getting the phase is pivoting. Fifty seconds left on the game clock. Phase is fifty percent done on the hill. That zone going to be dropping down. He's weak. Renegade flies in, but is he going to be able to kill? No, Lucid arrives at just the right time. Lucid escapes from the clutches of Frosty as well. And Phase now find themselves with just Frosty alive. Tries to take on Dead Zone here in the one v one. Dead Zone's trying to flush him out of the tower. Oh! oh. Will be broken on this hill. 30 seconds game clock. Optic regains control. Here. Let's not forget, any time a team is in the hill, that game clock, of course, will stop. So there's a lot of time left to play here at the Sea Hill. Optic Gaming will now continue scoring, and the pressure is on face. They will need to construct a push here. Formal gets taken down. He had the QT, but he wasn't able to survive long enough for any game. Too dead for Optic. With that kill, Frosty gets Phase is trying to break. Too dead for Optic. And this is looking like it might Trippy be dies. Lucid last guy. They lock down this hill. Lucid dies. Where does Optic spawn? Camo's up as well. So much time for FaZe. Optic's going to forehead top middle. Fae, Re Renegade kills everything. GG. GG. FaZe gets their get back. 3-0. What a game. After being the entire game and they will close out the series with what a, a game. Of three to zero. Now that is a scary, scary looking phase. That is a phase on a mission. And I would say even the way that they've just left that main stage right now, they are not done this weekend. They know that the work is not done this weekend. They want to be here. And phase gets their get back. Winning it. 3-2 in the flag, 50-40 in the Slayer, and 4-3 in the King of the Hill. Game of margins. Game of margins. My goodness, uh, what a response from FaZe. Once again, just in case you didn't catch it earlier, Optic Games <laughs> in their last... Like that, Avakis?